Dude, these boats are really cool. I'm just saying. Speak of me as I am, nothing extenuate. A man who loved not wisely, but too well. For never was there a story of more woe than this of a fellow and his Desdemona. Oh, Desi! Oh, Desi! No, no. Uh, can we get some lights? No. Um, what are you doing? You're ruining my bed. No, no. Uh, okay, uh, we left Ethan on his own to research this play, and apparently he looked up more in the dictionary and thought it was a place that you uh, tie up boats. That's what it said. Google. Facts. Yeah, well, which in this context is completely ridiculous, because as everybody knows, in the 16th century, the word more referred to a black person. Yeah. I feel like such a dork. Yeah, go with that feeling. Can't imagine why. Yeah. Um, very sorry. Very sorry, everyone. Um, we're probably going to have to pick this up a little bit later. As you, uh, as you know, the part of Othello is usually meant for a black actor, and we are... Well, you might say we're um, racially challenged. Yeah. Um, so uh, what, what we're going to have to do is we're probably going to have to all, you know, have you all come back in maybe a no, month no, or no, so. No, 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 I got it, dude. I've got it. Totally boatless. What are you doing? Totally You've already boatless. messed this up no, once. No. no, no, it's like picture a beat in your head. You're like, like the vegetable? Uh, here's a story of a brother by the name of Othello. He liked white women and he liked green jello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And a punk named Iago who made himself a menace because he didn't like Othello, the more of Venice. Now, Othello got married to a chick named Desdemona. Went off to the war and left her alone. It was a Mona. A Crona. He, he left, left her alone. He didn't write a letter and he didn't tell a phone. Oh, oh, that's that. nothing. Now, Desdemona, she was faithful. She was chastity tight. She was the daughter of a duke. But she was totally white. Now, Othello loved... <laughs> <laughs> now, Othello loved Mona like... A Desi loved Venus. And Desi loved the fellow because he had a big sword. Yes, he did. He said, I'm going to shaft the more. How you going to do it? Tell us. I know his fatal flaw. He's too damn, damn jealous. jealous. He need a dude, a dope, and kind of a schmo. He found a chum sucker by the name of Cassio. Hell yeah. And he plants on her Desdemona's handkerchief. And then he starts wondering, maybe just if, while he's out been fighting, commanding an army, Desmond and Caster hyper and had the salami. Salami. So he comes back home and plants a pillow on her face. Then he kills her and soliloquizes about his mistakes. But there's Amelia at the door. door. We met in Act Four. four. Said, you big dummy. She <laughs> weren't no whore. She was pure. She was clean. Virginal too. So, so why'd you, you have to go and make a face turn blue? blue? It's true. It's you. And what you gonna do? And, and the, the fellow, fellow says, says, Man, this is getting pretty scary. Pulls out his blade and committed Harry Carey. Do, Do that, that funky morphing white boy. <laughs> now, Iago got caught, but he probably caught the plea. He loaded up his bags and moved to Beverly Hills, that is. <laughs> Quick, before they figure out that we have no idea what we're doing, let's take a bow. Yeah.